What's up everybody? My name is Shannon and I am still waiting for my Seder and today we are talking about Gone by Michael Grant. I didn't expect to like this book as much as I did and I really really liked it and the bad part about really really liking it is that this is a 10 book series or, or 9 so it's, it's a lot of books. There's a lot of books in the series and my library does have all of them. It does have most of them on audiobook which is good even though I wouldn't recommend the audiobook because the narrator is super limited but that's the easiest way for me to listen to books when I'm super busy, so I'm glad that they have it that way. But here's the thing, they're always taken at my library and the hold lines are so long. So what have I gotten myself into? I'm gonna have to wait so long for the next book and I'm already dying. But for those of you guys who don't know, Gone is basically a modern retelling of Lord of the Flies, which is a story where like all of these kids are marooned on this island. It's just the kids, there are no adults. And it's kind of seeing what becomes of that so like the bullies take over and like kids have to step up and like ranks are happening and it's like how do these kids like keep society going what do they do when they're allowed to just like have free reign and all of this stuff so in gone it takes that but then it kind of gives it a twist like kind of a supernatural horror type of twist because some of these kids also find out that they have powers like they can shoot beams out of their hands or they can like teleport they can be really fast they have telepathy like that kind of stuff not all of the kids just some of them which as we know from x-men that's never a good thing when you're automatically creating that power imbalance there but it gets even weirder because now some of the animals are weird too like the coyotes can talk like snakes have wings like what the heck is going on here and all around this town that they're in all around the town of perdido beach is just like encased in this dome so they can't get out they have no interaction with the outside world all of the adults are gone basically everybody over the age of 14 just vanished they just went poof immediately and now they're just completely gone and what's even weirder is that once you turn 15 you're gone too you just blink out immediately and it's just really really cool I love how the author plays with this I love how the author just introduces all of these themes how like everything unfolds this book is told from so many different perspectives so you're really seeing every angle of the situation and figuring out what's going on here there's this darkness like living inside of this cave and like what is happening like what's going on you're so invested in it the entire time and I wasn't expecting that like when the book first started I didn't think I was gonna like it that much mostly just because of the the narrator he wasn't doing the best job there are a lot of characters they're all very young one guy narrates this book and his voices are pretty limited so I was uh, it kind of took me out of the experience a little bit but as as the story started to go on and we were learning new things and like the society dynamics are starting to take over and like okay well the bullies are stepping up but we have Sam and like what is he doing and like these kids from another school come down and like they're shaking everything up and you're just so glued to it and you want to know what's gonna happen next you're so invested you want to know how exactly did this happen like I said this series has a lot of books in it and so that's making me wonder how exactly are we going to be getting answers how exactly how involved is this series going to be because at the end of this book you don't really find out anything except you do learn that there's something bigger going on we kind of learn how they came to be in this situation but when you poof out something weird happens and we kind of get an up close in personal experience with it but I'd say as far as answers go there are still a lot a lot of questions and if there's so many books I'm wondering how exactly are we going to get those answers how are these things going to be addressed where do we go from here and that's really really cool I am so invested in this book and I cannot wait to be able to read the next one which I'm like number four 50 on on like the holds list so I don't know when that's going to be but I am super super excited for it but thank you guys so much for watching this video if you liked it be sure to hit that like button down below and don't forget to subscribe so you can talk books with me every week that is everything I got for today and I will see you guys next time